Good morning students of class 9. You are welcome back to the e classes. We are doing English. Now today's date is 30th of June. In the kingdom of fools from moments. So now we have reached uh, the judgment of the foolish king. Continued. So number G to K. So now we will go through one by one. Listen carefully. The king passed the king passed death sentence. Sentence means punishment for the rich merchant. So after hearing all the cases, so the king passed the judgment for the rich merchant. So he provided death sentence. He requested the king, he means the merchant, requested the king. It was his father, not him, who gave order for the ornaments and now he is no more. The merchant said to the king that my father has given my father had given uh, the, the ornaments to be made for the wedding but now he is no more so the king number h the king wanted that someone has to die for him so the king said someone has to die for the uh, for your father so but the merchant was too thin for the stake stake means a wooden frame where in ancient times people were punished or their heads were chopped off so but the merchant was too thin for the stake so the king wanted that somebody has to get killed or executed in the stake so number i so the king ordered for a fat man to look for a fat man for execution execution means for the killing or for chopping off the head of a person so the king ordered his soldiers or his guards to look for a fat man who can fit in the stick. The soldiers finally caught the disciple, the same disciple which we have talked before. The soldiers caught the disciple who had grown very fat after or by eating cheap food there. He stayed there because he was greedy. So he wanted to eat food because they were very cheap. So that's why the disciple stayed there and he had grown very, very fat. So now finally the soldiers caught him. Now number J, now the disciple remembered his guru and his words when he landed in trouble because he was too fat. So the soldiers had an eye on him. So he was caught and arrested and he was taken to the king's court. And he remembered his guru and his words. What did his guru said his guru said that this is not the right place to stay anything can happen anytime so that's why the guru went and the disciple remained there because he was greedy he wanted cheap food so the disciple remember his guru and his words and prayed for his help so the, the disciple prayed for his guru's help so the guru knew that his disciple is in trouble so he, he had the magical power, he could understand his prayer, he, his disciple was in uh, trouble. So the Guru arrived, somehow Guru arrived there as he heard his disciple's prayer. So the Guru heard his disciple's prayer and he arrived there. The Guru befooled the king, the, the Guru took the king to the corner and said, I cannot tell this secret to, in front, uh, to you in front of all the people, in front of your ministers. So he called the king in the corner and said something in his ear. And his ministers saying that it was the most auspicious, auspicious means very important time. So this is a very important time. And whoever would die first in that stake would be the future king. He would be born as a future king and whoever dies the second becomes his minister. So the king secretly told this to the king and the king began to think and the execution was postponed and uh, in our next class we will talk about the end of the foolish king, how the end came, how the foolish king, uh, his rule came to an end. So in our next class, we'll talk about that. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for your uh, English class. Now we get ready for your history class. So that's all. Thank you very much. Keep on watching.